What is up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Long time no see. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are new here, please make sure you go ahead and slap the shit out of that like button because it helps support my channel. And also make sure you guys subscribe and hit the notification bell so you do not miss any of my upcoming videos. Now, this is just a ranting slash PSA slash me getting my feelings out. I really just wanted to touch base with you guys and kind of connect on a different level of why there might be some spacage in my videos. <clears throat> and I've talked about it before and I and I will probably continue to talk about it again. It's extremely hard for me to talk about, but I do have a living, breathing PTSD issue with uh, a significant ex-person. And unfortunately, due to the, the recent um, pandemic, um, he is someone that I am able to confide in and um, able to spend time with. Um, even though I know he's not the best person for me, and I know that he's uh, everything I probably shouldn't be around, I am completely in love with him. And... He is my best. He is my best friend. And I just wanted to talk. I just wanted to talk to somebody about it because, like, I know. I know that he's not a good person, and um, it's obvious that my time with him has had a impact on my channel. And the things that I love to do, which is a huge problem, <clears throat> because his his appearance and presence has intervened in my life before and ruined things. And I've come out of it strong. I've come out on the other side before, so I know I can do it again. And it's funny because I used to always make fun of it and say like, "Oh, I relapsed with so and so. I relapsed with so and so." So here's. The but the big shocker is that during this pandemic, I relapsed with so-and-so, and I have been seeing him, and um, it's just been very hard because in so many ways you want to spend time, you want to spend time with someone because you feel like, you feel like they're like there for you and that they might be your person, but like, you know in your heart and you know you know deep down that they might not be the best person for you. So I just wanted to be like more open on that because there's probably a lot of other people who are talking to people who might not be the best person for them. And it could, it could be more toxic than what I'm going through. And I don't want anyone to get hurt. I don't want anyone to get hurt or or not feel strong enough to be able to get through it because I am going through some type of abuse. I know that. Um, but it's not to the physical extent that I've seen and heard others. Um, and I was raised around physical abuse. So I've seen really aggressive both verbal and physical abuse and that's not what I'm going through but what I am going through is more of like a mental and emotional abuse and I've been going through it for a really long time from the same person and I don't and when the pandemic happened like I don't want to date I don't want to I can't see new people right now we're not allowed so <laughs> I turned to the wrong person I feel like and it's so weird because nothing even really bad has happened like we're just spending time together and and, and I'm enjoying myself but like I know in my heart that he's not right and I'm not supposed to be spending time with him <laughs> And I know that it's like, it could possibly hurt me in the end. And I know I want to get out. And I'm just, 
And I'm just trying to look for ways to get out. I'm trying to look for ways to get everything I want to say off my chest. <laughs> and I also want to, like, help people while I do that. Because <laughs> I, can't, I can't be the only one who goes through things like this. And <laughs> in my past, when I was going through it before, it always felt like that. I always felt so alone. And... <laughs> Now that I have this platform, I'm like, said, I'm gonna make this video. I don't know if I'm gonna post it, but I just wanted to literally <laughs> dump my feelings and my experience because if anyone out there is going through the same thing or is <laughs> suffering from loneliness and, and turning to the wrong people because of it and then like having to deal with that outcome, like, <laughs> you are not alone. <laughs> and I promise that I'll make it through this. I also promise that I will never give up on myself or my channel, so I really hope that everyone believes in me as much as I believe in myself, and I know a couple of you do. And, um, thank you so much for the people who are always reaching out to see if I'm okay. And I just wanted to, like, get really, like, <laughs> real with you guys because this shit is, like, I love doing this, but if I'm going through what I'm going through and it's at its highs or it's at one of its lows, I can't, I can't be on camera. I can't be my best self, and I'll, I don't want to be on here doing this. I don't want to be on here serving all these lessons about heartbreak and how to make it through. I wanted to make videos about how to be stronger and like enjoy your crafts and and express your creativity. I never thought I wanted to make, I had to make videos like this, but I just wanted to like touch base to like, I know some people actually genuinely want to know what's going on with me and want me to touch base on things like this, but and I know, especially at a time like this, I'm not the only one going through this. And I remember when the, when the pandemic first started, like, I remember seeing so many reports about, like, domestic violence and all different types of people who, like, were trapped. Like, lockdown happened. And people who were with people who were bad people were stuck with them. And, like, my heart just went out because the person that hurts me, I go to see, you know, I can get out, I can escape. For the people who are trapped there like that's kind of really truly where my tears come from because i always know that whatever i'm going through so it's going through it worse so i just want to like now especially with people here to talk to i just want to make sure i speak on those truths and speak on some of the things that could potentially save anyone else who might be thinking or going through the same thing especially at a time like this where i know it's happening so um <laughs> i am okay <laughs> i swear i'm just very very emotional and i <laughs> i fall in love very 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 fast and i not with many people or anything like that but i have been in love with the same person for so long and it's been really traumatizing and I just I want like more than anything I want out of it like more than anything I want to not be in that love like and I don't want to feel what I feel but I know that a lot of my art and creativity and drive all comes from love so I can't I can't be mad that love hasn't worked out for me when it's inspired me to do so many different things and I know I have so much love from family and friends, so I don't want to hate on the actual action of love because of all the things it's given me, but at the same time, like, I just want to give anything to not have gone through this. Like, I just want to create and do things and be magical. <laughs> And I don't want to have these feelings and I always get overwhelmed by them and it's so weird because it's like a mixture of a PTSD of what I've already been through mixed into what I'm dumping on it right now what I'm already going through again and dumping more on it I just 
I want to make sure that hopefully this video helps at least one people, one person, or or at the very least explains to someone what it's like for anyone at this time to go through this loneliness, let alone, excuse me, a YouTube creator or a content creator right now. It's just so lonely and I know there are people making even worse mistakes than me during this time and this is what this video is for is to give you strength to get out of that to get out of whatever is holding you back because like i said i am i'm fighting right now i'm gonna fight through this and i'm fighting through it for you guys for the couple people who watch this video or anyone who watches it in the future my fight is for you so please don't give up on yourself and continue to fight your own battles every day because I spent so many days not fighting and just giving up and I don't want to do that anymore. I want to get up and do what I want to do and I'm going to fight to do that. So I want you guys to do the same thing. Always fight for what you love and I hope that one day together we can look back on this video and remember remember when I was feeling lost and remember when I was feeling like everything I'm feeling right now <laughs> and when we come out on the other side we'll come out on the other side together <laughs> all right I'm gonna go clean up myself and get ready to do more videos for the day <laughs> <laughs> sorry um i love you guys so much please make sure you slap the share that like button to support my channel and subscribe and hit the notification bell and i will see you guys in the next video which will be much happier and much cuter <laughs> i love you bye